everybody, Miss Kim here from Plant the Seed. I'm coming at you from my kitchen today because we have all these pumpkins that we harvested from the Ross Early Learning Center garden in East Nashville. So I'm going to cook some up. Today we're going to roast some pumpkins. So we're going to take a pumpkin like this and we're going to turn it on its side and I'm going to cut the top off. Now I know that you all like to use knives, but I think you should probably get your grown up to get the knife and cut the top off for you. Okay, so now this is what the inside of our pumpkin that we're going to roast today looks like. This is called, in the grocery stores, it's usually called a pie pumpkin because you use them to make things like pies. The bigger pumpkins that we always carve for Halloween, those are different pumpkins and they don't have all of this pulp inside and, and these are sweeter and the seeds are a little smaller. So these are really good for cooking. So I'm going to grab my colander, which I've already cleaned this pumpkin out. And you want to get all of the seeds and the stringy stuff inside. All of this stringy pulp that's inside your pumpkin, you want to get it out. I have this handy pumpkin carving tool that I got in my pumpkin carving kit, but you can use a spoon. And this is what it looks like. You want to take all this and put it in a colander because you can clean those seeds later and they're going to be so good roasted. So let's go ahead and do this one. Okay. So I've turned my oven on to 350 degrees. So it's preheating right now. I'm going to dig all this stuff out. And then I'm just going to cut my pumpkin in half. Uh oh, that's okay. I'll get that in a minute. Cut them in half. And then finish digging out all the seeds and everything really well. So that it looks like so that it looks like this inside. Okay. This guy up. Put them to the side. Okay. So it looks like that inside. You're gonna do that with all of your pumpkin halves. Okay. So this is something that people do to make soups. They can make pie. They can make muffins. Or they can just eat it like a vegetable because it is. They could just eat it like you would eat squash or something like that. Cut it up into squares, put a little salt and olive oil on it, and it's delicious. Okay, so my pumpkins are all cleaned out. I'm going to put this to the side. Blech. Okay. And then I'm going to get, wash my hands. pumpkins can be kind of sticky sometimes. I'm going to get a lined cookie sheet. And remember, I've heated my oven at 350. And I'm going to take my pumpkin halves 
put them on the cookie sheet. Still some seeds I'm binding in there. And then I'm going to take some olive oil. And I'm just going to pour a little in my hand because I don't have a brush. And I'm going to brush the pumpkin with the olive oil. And I'm just going to put some olive oil on there so that it'll make it nice and golden brown. And just get it all on there. Wash my hands again. And a little bit of salt. I'm going to sprinkle salt on. Now, I guess it probably depends on what you're making. I'll probably make um, a soup or just eat this, eat the pumpkin, just roasted. Um, but if you want to make pumpkin pie, then you might want to do cinnamon and nutmeg and pumpkin pie spice. Now you take your pumpkins and you turn them upside down. And then you put them in the oven at 350. for 45 minutes to an hour. And this is what you come up with. These beautiful roasted pumpkins. See, they're really soft. And you can just squeeze the stuff out, or you can cut it out, however you want to do it. It's like, of like a mashed potato or something, kind of a mashed consistency. And then you can use this to make all kinds of different things. Something I like to do, see that this kind of peels back, the pumpkin skin kind of peels back, so you can just peel it on out. Something I like to do is make a puree and make a delicious pumpkin soup. I'll show you how to do that. This aside. And then you put your pumpkin into a bowl. Now I've already got salt and olive oil on my pumpkin from when I baked it. So I'm going to pull out what I have, which is called a hand blender. But you can puree with a blender or you can use a um, food processor, or you can even mash it up with a fork. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to mash it up. Until it's nice and creamy and smooth. Today, we are going to make pumpkin pancakes. So I have all my ingredients here, and most of these ingredients you will be receiving in your toolkit. So first of all, we have our pureed pumpkin. Put that in the bowl. And then we have two tablespoons of flour. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my stove so that the, pot, the pan can heat up. Then we have our pumpkin pie spice, or you could just use cinnamon, but you have the spice of your toolkit. And then the one thing you're going to need from your refrigerator is an egg. So we'll crack an egg. 
All right. Spread this out. Now, I'm going to take some butter. You can use oil, the oil that comes in your toolkit, though, if you'd like. I'm going to use butter from my refrigerator to grease the pan. Make it nice and greasy because you don't want your pumpkin pancakes to stick. Okay. Now take your spoon or whatever you have to stir with and stir up your mix. Stir it really well so that everything is blended. I love making pumpkin stuff. You can make all kinds of things with pumpkins. You can make pumpkin cookies, pumpkin cake, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin pie, pumpkin soup, all kinds of cool things. Things that are good for you too. Okay. So now that my, my mix is all mixed up and well blended, my pan feels hot. Don't touch it, just kind of go like this to feel if there's any heat coming. Okay. You can use your spoon. I like to use I like to use a measuring cup for pancakes because I can get just the right amount and it pours out nicely, just like that. Now this will make two to three small pancakes. If you wanna make more and you have the stuff at home, then you can double it up. You just put your pancakes into the pan and it'll take about five minutes three to five minutes, depending on your stove, for them to cook on one side. So you'll just let them cook for a few minutes and take your spatula and flip them over. I have one that I've already cooked here, so let's try it. I'm going to put a little bit of maple syrup on mine but you can use fruit, you can use honey, you can use anything you want that you like on pancakes. Peanut butter, whatever. Okay, a little bit of syrup. Grab a fork. Let's see what it tastes like. Add a little piece. Mmm. Very pumpkin-y. Very spicy. Sp like pumpkin spicy, not hot spicy. And it's a little different from regular pancakes, but it tastes really good like fall. So good. Okay, let's see if these guys are ready yet. No, they're not quite ready. I'm going to turn up my stove a little bit more. Pumpkin pancakes might take a little bit longer than regular pancakes because they're mostly pumpkin puree instead of flour. So it might take a little bit longer. But whenever you flip them, want to be sure oops it's okay you can just come back to the to squish them down because you want them to cook really well in the middle as well you don't want them to be not cooked in the middle that my friends is how you make pumpkin pancakes enjoy your toolkit Happy fall, kids.